Hi everyone, I'm Elvis, and in this video, we're going to cover a few of the announcements from Mistral AI. So they recently announced two models, Matstral and Codestral Mamba. So we're going to go through what they announced, some of the details, and what I'm going to do in this video as well, I'm going to go through a demonstration of how to use the Codestral Mamba using their APIs. So let's get to it. So the first one is Codestral Mamba. We can see here that Social Mamba is their latest model for code generation. So this particular model has achieved some results that are very comparable to their previous Coachral 22 billion parameter model. And specifically, this one is focusing on the Mamba architecture. This is a type of architecture that the community is leveraging today to build faster language models. So faster in terms of inference, these are competing with transformer models now. So it's great to see that Mistral is actually releasing a model that's based on Mamba, specifically a code generation model, where it could really unlock a lot of good use cases around code generation. They don't really give you a lot of details here, but they're saying that this one is based on Mamba, and they also present some results here. So you can see the comparison with, with other code-specific models like DeepSeq, CodeGemma, and CodeLama. You can see the performance here on Human Eval, which is a widely used code generation benchmark. This one as well is highly used, and you can see the gap there, right? This is a 7 billion parameter model, and this is a 22 billion parameter model. And these are the instruct models. So these, what you see here, specifically these two are instruct models, as they mentioned here at the bottom. And this specific model is you know, 7.2 billion parameter model. They say that Coastal Mamba was tested on in-context retrieval capabilities up to 256 tokens. Now, I saw the documentation says that it's 256k uh, max tokens. So that's the support that they have here in terms of tokens. And they mentioned here it could be a great local code assistant. So I can imagine a lot of companies could leverage a model like this that has faster inference and also has those code and reasoning capabilities that you will need to build code generation tools or even tools that are already enabling some form of code generation capability, right? So we also covered a few of these tools like the Jupyter Pretzel tool and also the other tool Saturn where it's supporting OpenAI code generation models, but it'd be great to have a code specific model like this enabled there and we can leverage it for all the error fixing code generation and all these different functionalities that we need for those type of assistant tools performing on par with soda transformer based models as we can see from these results i think the best way to know how good this model is is by actually testing it. They made it available in different ways. So it, you can use the Mistral Inference SDK. I believe you have to download the model for that. And there's also a way to deploy through Tensor RT LLM as another popular way of deploying models. You will eventually be able to use it for local inference with support in Llama.cpp. And they also have the weights available on Hugging Face. You can use Coastal Mamba as well on the platform. And this is available as this model here. So we are gonna go through a few demonstrations or a few examples of how to use the model itself and just testing the capabilities that it has. And some more details here about the license. Coastal Mamba is available under Apache 2.0 license. So that's it. That's There's not a lot of details there. I didn't see a technical report for this. We are going to cover a few examples of how to use it. In this quick demonstration, what I want to do is I want to show you how to test Coastal Mamba model, the one that was recently released by Mistral. You can install the client first, then you install python.env. This is very standard for configuring the API. So you have to set this API key, right? You get an API key using the platform. And once you have that set up, then we can test it. So the first thing I want to test, again, we're using the Coastal Mamba 2407. That's the new model. Right, that's the model we're using. And this stuff is very standard, it's very similar to like the OpenAI models. It is an instruct model. We can just prompt it like this, where we set a role, in this case user, then we write a content. This is gonna be the prompt. And you say, write a function for Fibonacci. And then the standard request is right here. So here is the code. And I did this in the notebook here because I really want to test this right away. And I'm just gonna test it. Let's see, code, add a piece of code here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to test it here. I'm going to say 10. Okay, so it looks like it's going to return yeah, the number at that particular position. So if we do again, another test. Two. Okay, that looks correct. Four. Yeah, there we go. So 
that's the Fibonacci for you. And again, it returns the nth number in the Fibonacci sequence. It's going to be the nth number that you specify here. We're going to do another test here. And this one, write a Python function that multiplies two numbers and add a constant of one to it. So I love to always test this. This is one of my first tests that I do on code completion models. And we can see here it has multiply and add one. So I always look at the name of the function that it's using. Okay, that looks very standard. And then we have the result, and then it returns result plus one as well. Sometimes we see that these models prefer to use like num1 times num2 plus one. It adds it in one go here. So that's more for conciseness. But I guess this looks okay, and it also gives you some code example for how to run this particular function. This looks okay, and it even gives you the output of this particular one. So 5, 10, 3, 15 plus 1, 16. So that's great to see. You can see that this model is very capable of generating like these Python functions. Now, a test that you can try, specifically maybe on a programming language that you're familiar with, I am not sure they didn't really mention what programming languages they're supporting, but you can test on different programming languages to see how robust it is for different programming languages. Now, I'm not going to do that test here. I'm going to focus on Python. I'm more familiar with Python. So this one is write a Python class that performs matrix multiplication. A bit more complex, I would say, but I'm very curious how it goes about performing this particular task. Okay, so let me just go here. Some models for this particular task they tend to generate very uh, long classes. Uh, this looks super concise, but now I'll test it out and see how it's performing, if it actually is running. It gives me also some example uses that is nice. I'll just copy this and then I'm gonna paste it here. Very interesting that it also gives me the, the output so I can cross check that. But let me just check this. Um, so you can see it's 1922, 43, 50. It seems to be doing it okay. And this particular class works and you can see that the usage example also works as well. Now, this is great for doing documentation. So if you had like classes and you wanted to generate documentation or example usage for that, that I think that would be really nice to use it that way. So this one is write a Python game without any library that lets me guess the number between one and 100 and gives me clues. So a bit harder than the other tasks, but here I'm looking at you know the functionality of that particular program that it's going to suggest. So let me just hit enter here. All right, so it did generate some code. Again, it's an instruct model, so it's giving me some explanation as to how I should use this particular program that you can see at the bottom here to play the game and so on. So I'm not going to do all of that since I have this already on my notebook. I can just copy and paste it right here. Here you go. I'm just going to run this. Hopefully this runs. All right, so it says, I'm thinking of a number between 1 and 100. Try to guess it. So it prompt me for numbers at the top. So I'm just going to say six. Too low, I'm going to say 60. Too high, I'm going to say 40. Too low, I'm going to say 50. Too low, I'm going to say 55. Here we go. I guess it in five attempts. Pretty good at this game. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's cool. It gave me exactly what I asked for, which is to give me clues. So these are the clues. And then eventually I guessed the, the number. Um, and it's working. That's the most important thing, right? The code is actually working. Now, I don't know about the actual code. I'll need to check to see you know, how good the code is. I don't see comments in the code, which is something I would have liked in the generation of the code. And that's not something I should have to specify. That should be automatic, right? That's the only thing I would say. But besides that, I think this is great. And I'll just keep testing this. If you're interested in me going through a deeper dive into its capabilities, this particular Coastal Mamba model, since I have it here already running and I'm already starting to test it, uh, let me know in, in the comments and I'll probably do a longer video of that to test it out. The next release here is Mastral. So this is a math specific model. So we have a code specific model. No, we have a math specific model. Um, and that's interesting, right? Because I know Mistral has these general purpose models, like the Mistral model that they are releasing. There are family of models that are basically more general purpose for all sorts of tasks. But these weren't R specific. And I think what they're seeing is that a lot of like applications and products are using you know, customized models. So if it's for code generation, for instance, for like maybe IDs that need some code generation capabilities out of these LLMs, you would typically use a code specific model. And that's the same thing for Matral, I guess. So for this model, what you want is you want really good at math capabilities, right? Problem solving, uh, multi-step logical reasoning, as they say here. 
And what I mentioned here is that Marshall stands in the shoulders of Michel 7b and specializes in STEM subjects. Now, I don't think this one is using Mamba. There is no specific uh, mention of architecture changes or anything like that. But what we get is it's probably based on the Michel 7b. Apparently, this is also a 7 billion parameter model. And you can see the performance here. The DeepSeek mat is something that I covered in my YouTube recently, and this is a very powerful model for mat. DeepSeek also released one for code as well. So you can see how good DeepSeek is, and that's a good comparison that they're doing here with this particular model. But this is a 7 billion parameter model, right? So you can see how it outperforms most of the other models. And we also have another competitor here, Quen 2 7B, which you will see how it's performing. Now, this particular benchmark is something I'm taking a closer look at, is this is a really hard task. And I think with upcoming models, we'll do more in-depth analysis on this particular benchmark, because I think this one, even the OpenAI models struggle with this, right? Even the latest general purpose models, the bigger ones struggle with this particular task. So we'll take a look at that closely later on, but these are the results for now. And you can see on Matt how it's performing. It's performing 56.6%. I think in one of the announcements, they say or mentioned that this particular model outperforms Minerva, the, I think, 500 plus billion parameter model from Google. Mashal can achieve significantly better results with more inference time computation. Mashal 7B scores 78 per 37 on Matt with majority voting and 74.59 with a stronger reward model among 64 candidates. So quite a capable model on Matt Reasoning. And this one isn't available for testing with your APIs yet. I guess probably they'll make it available at some point, but it's available on Hugging Face, the weights. You can try it as well with the Michel Inference SDK. And you can also fine tune it, which is also great, right? With these custom models, you wanna maybe do some more fine tuning on them. This chart here, I guess, shows the breakdown of the results, how it's performing compared to the Michel 7B. And these are kind of the boosts that you get on the different categories. So you have like elementary mathematics. Apparently there's a huge boost in elementary mathematics. By these results, I think you can see that these custom models can be more powerful than their general purpose counterparts. That will be it for this video. I'm excited about this particular release. I've done a few recent videos on these custom models. I think custom models have a lot of potential, especially when you are building some type of experience or application. I'm seeing more adoption of these custom models in different places. In fact, we are also designing applications where we leverage custom models and combine them with general purpose models like cloud and these Gemini models and even the OpenAI models as well. So that'll be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Consider leaving a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. See you in the next one.